Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating this look here. If you're interested, please keep watching. Okay guys, so first we're gonna start off like normal and do our prep on our natural nail. To begin, I'm just gonna be doing one hand and then we'll move into the actual design portion. So if you wanna fast forward to that, that's totally fine. We've already pushed back the cuticle, so now we're using one of our safety cuticle bits to go in and lift up anything that may still remain on the nail plate. You do want to make sure to be super careful and to hold the e-file kind of at a flatter angle, if that makes sense. So just try to keep it flush with the natural nail plate. And then moving on to a fine sanding band, we're going to go right around that cuticle area and then remove all of the shine from the natural nail to further prep it. After you've done that for all nails, then you're going to take acetone or I use a swipe solution, which is half acetone and half alcohol. And then I just swipe down to make sure to remove any of like the debris that was lifted and get it ready for our dehydrator and prep. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use this base coat over the natural nail from Enail Couture. This is my favorite base coat to use with his one, two, three press on and go system, but you honestly can use any base coat of choice. Gel does stick to gel, so you wanna have something protecting the natural nail and acting as an adhesive layer, uh, layer between the natural nail and the actual soft cover gel tip or the plastic tip that you choose to place over it. So really carefully, just go ahead and paint a really thin layer over all nails and then give that a 60 second cure before moving on to application. I am gonna go in with the same brand. So I'm using the Press-On Gel. And this is also from Enel Couture. It is the clear color. And it's the one that I like to use with his full cover tips. So just a moment to talk about his tips while I'm showing the process is they are soft gel full cover tips in comparison to the Apre tips, I prefer them. They do have a higher C curve in most of the shapes and he comes with so many shapes, so many lengths. So I feel like there's more options there. Um, but because the C curve is a little bit stronger, I find the nail overall to be stronger. And then they also come pre-etched. So flash curing and getting them completely cured are just a lot faster since you don't have to either etch um, physically or even chemically. I just go ahead and go in and take the number off of them. For whatever reason, it really bothers me when you can see the number on them. So I went ahead and took just the very smallest amount off of the end off. And then once I did that, I went in to file just to kind of finalize that really sharp square shape. Next though, I'll get into sealing the cuticle. Um, which is super super important and something I had to learn along the way with gel X This is going to make all the difference in how long your sets will actually last But using my pana bit, it is a five-in-one It makes it so much easier You just gotta be really really careful around the cuticle line and you'll get such a seamless blend I especially like to use this right before the next bit and this one is my ceramic safety bit. It is rounded so I can get even closer to the cuticle without worrying that I'm going to cut my clients or my cuticles. And then I'll go around. This is kind of buffing even more and going to make it look even more so natural at that cuticle line, which is super important with the Gelex system especially not only for lifting but you do want this to look as natural as possible um so they look a little bit more professional and they don't look like just press-ons that were glued after that i went ahead and just buffed the nails so that they're ready for polish this is what they'll look like when they are completely done with sealing the cuticle and also filing buffing and getting the shape down to what i wanted with a dry brush now, I am just swiping away anything that may still remain on the nail plate. 
Um, you really want to get into that cuticle line really, really well to make sure that there's nothing that can be underneath that gel polish so that it looks seamless and really, really smooth. And then I'm going to be using this shade from, I think it's Fanciest. It's an Amazon brand, but it's amazing. It is like a neutral beige color. And we're going to do two coats of that over the nail just so it's not translucent before getting into our ombre technique. Once you are done, this is what the two coats will look like with that color. And it's absolutely gorgeous by itself. But this is going to be kind of tacky or sticky when you get it out, which is perfect for the next step. If you are ombre with a powder, I think it is so much easier. So you can use like a pigment powder, a mica powder. I'm actually going to show how you can do it with just eyeshadow that you have. This is a palette that I already had that I don't necessarily reach for. And the colors are super vibrant. And then they are really, really pigmented. So we're going to use some of the shades here to actually do the ombre. Now you want to choose two colors that are pretty similar. One of them is going to be like your blending color. And then one of them will be like your accent color. You're also going to need a brush to work with. This is the one that I chose from Morphe. It's about the size of my palm, so it's really easy to handle and going in with the very first color i'm taking lit which is like a bright yellow we're going to go ahead and press that into the surface you can do this super duper messy it doesn't have to be perfect because the first color again is what we're blending into um, so i'll just go ahead and show that process on each nail before getting into the accent color Now that you've already got that bottom shade down, you can actually start working on your like brighter, deeper, or like accent color. So mine here is gonna be orange that the yellow is transitioning into. You wanna focus a lot of the pigment at the tip of the nail. And then if you notice, I kind of just blend up kind of the same way you would do eyeshadow on your eyes. So you wanna place down at the tip so that way that gets the deepest color and then kind of scrub the remaining product onto the rest of the nail. So on this one here, you'll see that I kind of like bounce and scrub that product from the tip up towards the lighter color just so it kind of blends in. And then once everything is done, you can kind of look at it. Once I zoom out here, you'll see that I go back in with a little bit more of that orange color just to deepen the tip even more. So it was more of a drastic ombre effect. You don't have to do that, but you can always add. So you just want to be very careful doing those steps. Once you're completely done, this is what it will look like. And because it was already cured and you're just doing this on the tacky layer, you're just going to need a thicker top coat to go over that pigment powder and really set it into place. So I'm going to take this Dom Top Clear Top Coat. This is also from Enail Couture and you're going to do it very, very thick. Um, so to cover the pigment and then fill in anywhere that may have any type of rough texture. It shouldn't have much, but depending on the pigment that you decide to use, you could have some texture, which is why this step is really important. And be very careful with the amount of product. With doing this step, I found you always wanna go in with more than you think you need. So you can float that over the tip rather than swiping too hard and taking away all the work that you just did blending the colors. Once you've cured the nail, this is what it will look like. I do turn it towards the light so that you can see the entire surface is glossy and ready for any nail art or stones that you wanna put on. For us today, we're gonna go ahead and use a white color. This is a cream gel base. You can also use black. I kind of thought about that, but I figured the white would contrast a little bit better. And this is from Savvy Land. It's PG03. I do have an entire video dedicated to these, but they remind me so much so of the Young Nails uh, Mission Control gel pots. They are perfect for gel art, and that's exactly what we're gonna use them for today. 
I do also want to preface this part of the video by saying I have never attempted to draw a flame in my life and I should have brought up like a reference photo but I totally went off memory of what I think a flame looks like so if there's any tips or tricks that you know on how to draw a flame even better I am super open to learning so you can totally leave that in the comment box below but this is just how I decided to do them today again they're not going to be perfect but I'll go ahead and speed through this and let you enjoy some music while you're watching me attempt this for the first time. my god i was so shaky but anyways i went ahead and cured it so i can look at everything make sure i liked it before messing up the rest of my nails so i did that for every single one of my nails and then that is kind of just the whole technique again i am not a professional at this it's not something that i normally do and it's extremely hard so big props to those people who can draw flames so effortlessly i'm definitely going to continue trying but it's like a lot harder than what i thought it was going to be okay friends i'm not gonna like torture you any longer and show you every single nail i just wanted to show you kind of some of the steps but next we are going to top coat please ignore that my top coat brush is stained my kids were playing with it and now it's pink forever um but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do this just so we can cap the flames off to make sure that everything looks absolutely gorgeous and shiny i am going to put two coats of this top coat just to make sure that you don't feel any ridges from us drawing with the gel and then we'll get into the final photo thanks again for watching friends i hope to see you next time if you learned anything please comment that below and if there's any questions you may have or anything that you want to teach me please feel free to leave a comment below as well Always remember to like, share, and comment, and please don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you. Bye.